Please welcome in for our next contest from Brighton, Ian Jackson. The veteran Ian Jackson then makes his way to the ring, 38 years of age. A man who's had victories few and far between in his career. But brought in tonight to test a debutant, John Harding. Jackson coming in with 32 losses, five victories, his last win coming in September 2015. And welcome his opponent from Brixton, John Harding. The boy from Brixton. A chance to show what he can do on the professional stage. It's a good opponent to face as well, Ian Jackson. For a youngster, take on an experienced fighter. We will test him, despite having a knockout in one of his last two fights, being caught in the third round of four against Charlie Duffield. That was here in October 2015. His last bout was in January. He's got quite the entourage, hasn't he, for his debut? This is a cruiserweight contest of four three rounds. Introducing in the blue corner, wearing the white shorts with a black trim. Weighing in today at 12 stone and seven pounds in his 40th professional contest from Brighton, Ian Jackson. And his opponent across the ring in the red corner, wearing the black and white shorts, weighing in today at 12 stone and 4 pounds, making his professional debut from Brixton, John Hardy. Your title, John Smith from Harrow. Your referee, Lee Book from Ramsey. This is a cruiserweight contest of four three. Four three-minute rounds then of cruiserweight action and a chance for John Harding to strut his stuff in the magnificent arena of York Court. Check of the gum shield. Quite the entourage for his entrance, John Harding. Now he's got to show that he's value for it. A little stumble there by Jackson. Just start sorry. things off, and he's keeping his distance, Jackson, early on. He knows that Harding is going to be quicker, faster. Have that youthful exuberance. Harding looks to quickly get going. Just catching Jackson as he popped his head up. Reeling back with a nice left. Brought, brought him down with the body shot and then walked him onto her to the left. moment in the early stages in the early exchanges running a touch tentative call it patience and he's certainly not showing that eagerness of a young debutant to just go flailing in which is the corner will be very pleased about as Jackson has to punch his way out off the ropes Jackson's been in with some, uh, some good, good opposition, uh, albeit early in their careers. Callum Smith, Adam Etches. It's a 
say he's good as an experienced fighter for the youngsters to take on. His knowledge and experience will test them. But his record, you could say, speaks for itself with the 32 defeats and just five victories, two draws, of course. He's lost his last three fights in Jackson. Good shot there, just pulling it up though with a bit of a headlock with the left arm, but right overhand. He's more than happy to step forward, the 38-year-old, and show the youngster what's what. Yeah, you see, quite late coming to the pro game as well, I think. It's a good body shot just in there, Harding. And they got in close, he just saw a quick gap with the right hand. Jackson certainly felt it. That's not exhilarating in terms of an early stoppage or fist flying, but good solid opening round. Yeah. So his first professional round in the books, John Harding. I've got it down as a win for him. <laughs> Encouraging the crowd. And he's from South London. Not too far to get down to Brixton from here in Bethnal Green. Trading blows. Trading, yes. I have to say that Jackson had the upper hand really in terms of his right arm was free to just lay a couple of shots down. He's in impressive shape, Jackson. Sorry, not Jackson. Harding. Yeah, you can tell who's the wily, experienced fighter and perhaps the fresher of the two. But for the moment, Harding's not making it count that much. No. Oh, that's a great right shot. shot. Brilliantly measured right hand, and now Harding looks to continue the torture. Just, just interesting to see if he gets carried away and quite if he just sits back and. Quite literally took that one on the chin <laughs> in Jackson. Oh, good body shot, Got uppercut. More of the same from the man in the white and black trunks. Jackson's corner just being warned about the head. Yeah, Jackson's Starting to charge stum in now stumbling slightly. into him there. Is this going to be a point? It's because he's been rocked by that thunderous right hand. The talking to for the pair of them. And after the quick thrill and exhilaration, it suddenly slowed down, and that will play into Ian Jackson's favour, I'm sure. Yeah, with the lack of experience, you might, you know, might not be so supremely. I mean, it's better to be conservative than go steaming and get caught and blown out. But you know, first fight doesn't want to put a foot wrong. Good left hand coming there, up. Yeah. So it's all about Harding, perhaps leaving himself a touch exposed at times. And now look at Ian Jackson, just desperate to close down the gap as Harding steps away. Chance for the experienced fighter to smell blood himself. Last Sir, victory was a knockout against Matty Park. Certainly has smelled blood. Oh, a good left hand round the, the side. Round the side yeah. Excellent finish for Ian Jackson there. Well, I mean, that was a, a round of two halves, wasn't it? Certainly was. Just when you thought that Harding had found a real upper hand with that straight right that. Jackson stepping back and he almost looks stunned as he took the shot. 
struggling to score that one, but I think I'd edge it towards uh, edge it towards Jackson. John Harding in his corner, up on his feet. Just saw his trainer there saying, "Keep moving." Yeah, Make Jackson, yourself a difficult target. Jackson's team saying you're stronger than him. To their man. And we do get round three underway. It's perhaps not a pretty start, judging by that exchange. Left Good. trying to come through from Jackson there. Jackson backs off and then comes charging forward. A fighter from Brighton. He's coming in like Left a ball into there. That one, yeah. Left and then the right once again. And the guard was down for a moment from Harding. Ooh, that left hand Harding, Harding lining him up there. there. Got through with an uppercut as well in that. This is what Jackson has done when he's taken the odd shot. As he slowed it down and just sucked the life out of Harding's blows. That left just catching him around the side of the head though, Harding. And four or five decent punches and Jackson tries to retaliate. Oh, there was a low one in there from, from Harding. Good head movement. Avoiding the shots. Not quick, but it's just fluid. He keeps himself rocking around. Ian Jackson. Another good couple of shots coming in, but a straight left coming back the other way. Another low Another blow, low in blow there. from Harding, but no reaction from Jackson. He's got lucky with those two low blows, Harding. I think they're both on the wrong side of the ref. one there from Harding. You could tell that the crowd didn't really appreciate that either. Big ooh from some. There's been no complaints for Ian Jackson in the last round or so with the couple of potentially low shots and then that one. He's just happy to get on with it. He's seen it all really in his career I imagine. And A very tough test for a first fight. He's making it very awkward. And this frustration, I think, for John Harding. But this isn't a walk in the park for a debut. Jackson keeps his head moving, but straight into a couple. in close squeezing through the guard but nothing really follows it all the time his team is just telling him keep the head moving don't be an easy target for Harding to go on and to his credit he's done that he has he has well Harding is perhaps physically fitter can't take experience away from it from any fighter and the importance of it in about fourth and final round and Jackson starts with that big overhand right oh. and pulling the head down pulling the head down and then landing another talking Four or to five again a couple of boos and frustrated oohs from the crowd it's not perhaps won them over too much tonight Ooh, John got, Harding. Got caught with a good jab there, Harding. Is it? This time, interesting. Though, able to Jackson. step away from that. He sort of, he, he almost coils himself up and comes thundering forward. You can see when he's going to come, and I think that's why Harding 
that time was able to just step and back away and <laughs> see the shots coming. A matador showing the shoulder and stepping to the side. There's not much in terms of a reply still. A couple of air shots from Jackson. Left just catching a Jackson on the chin. No follow up with the right. And Jackson once again gets that head moving. It's almost like Harding struggled to gauge some of these shots. Yeah, I mean, it's difficult because it, Jackson seems to be the main main way he's defending is getting him very very close with his head low it's difficult to get the distance right and he's getting pushing his head ears. pushing his head in there swinging left that Harding is happy to just step away from still strutting Sh around the ring some nice footwork now Jackson getting that head down and away from the shots as they whistle over his head. Ooh, uh, winging a big right that Jackson saw coming. Ooh. Good jab by Harding there. Now Jackson just not backing away. He was already stepping backwards and it just helped topple him slightly. Yeah, he's no follow-up. It was a good bit of distance that Jackson oh, was able to get as he fell back. Lovely step to the side from, from Harding. Big swing. Starting he's to uh, got to keep his head on a swivel at times here, John Harding. Looking a lot more fluid now, John Harding. He's settled into his sort of more of a rhythm. Especially defensively, yeah. the tap of the gloves for the two. Harding with his fist raised, he feels that that's his fight. I imagine that might be the way that it goes on the scorecard. Ian Jackson was certainly a difficult customer to deal with though. Never really got his range and rhythm until right at the very end, as you said there, Adam. Yeah, I mean, it's a tough test for him. It'd be interesting to see how he feels it went. <laughs> Jackson just his some stuff some in the ring. Some posturing for presumably the fans. Well, the scorecards are in. Let's go down to Mark Schmidt then. With the official verdict. Ladies and gentlemen, after four rounds of action, referee Cook scores the contest. 40 points to 37 points. To the winner on his professional debut, John Harding. Oh, Harding elated. Jackson. Jackson lifts him to the sky. It's a fair result. It was a difficult one. And you can see what it means to John Harding. He's elated to pick up his first win on his debut. Team Harding happy, John Harding happy, and you almost get the feeling that Ian Jackson's quite happy for him as well. <laughs> all right, you know, first of all, I want to thank God up there that gave me this opportunity. All my supporters out here that come supporting me, and man, it was a tough test. When you feel those 10 ounces, you know what I mean? I've been doing some hardcore sparring with 16s on. So when I felt him coming in, I really had to dig deep. You know, I made it more difficult then for myself than it was. But you know, in the fourth, I regained my composure and I just kept it simple and I kept beating him with a jab. So, um, yeah, man, as I said, man, I'm a people's champion. I fight for the people. I represent those that I had, like, that come from the bottom, that don't get these opportunities. And I want them to see this and feel proud of themselves to get out and make opportunity for themselves. How far, how far do you think you're going to go? I'm going to go to the furthest, man. I'm talking about world titles. There's no point in me coming in here if I can't aim for it. You know what I mean? And, and that was just a test. I had to learn from it. The nerves, I've done so much sparring, but it's so different when you're in the ring and executing. Uh, one of the main, my influences, my coach Ted, he's been like a father figure to me also. 
Um, I'm going to thank those, um, my, my camp, Isaac Chamberlain, Chris Congo, Richard Ryopo. I'm just really thankful. Well, it was a fantastic first win. Congratulations. Go and enjoy it. Thank you very much.